Welcome back everyone. Today I will show you how to recaulk a bathroom tub using sanded caulk. I have cleaned this tub out as shown in my last video and has been rubbed down with rubbing alcohol. Here I have used frog tape to tape off where I don't want the caulk to get. This will ensure clean lines later on. I left about a quarter inch gap and you can see me here starting to caulk with my caulk gun. Everything has been prepared. Using a nice smooth motion, I'm working in smaller sections to ensure I'm able to smooth out what I have put down. I like to use baby wipes to clean up everything. You could use a wet rag, really anything you'd like, but have something handy because this stuff does get messy. Now I'm moving on to the back part of the tub. And you can see I'm using a nice smooth motion here too. I had some wider gaps where my tiles were laid. Now I'm using my finger just to smooth it out and I'll wipe off the excess on that baby wipe. And sometimes I go in with a baby wipe or rag to wipe out excess to whichever you like. I go over each area quite a few times with my finger or a wet rag to remove all of the excess. While I'm using sanded caulk for my tub, the same method would apply for any kind of silicone caulk too. Also, when I was using the caulk gun, I started a little away from the corners and as you can see when I'm wiping, it will push some of that caulk into the corners so you'll have your tub nice and sealed. The more you remove now, the easier it will be once you're ready to pull up your tape. You won't have a big mess on your hands. Now you're ready to remove your tape. Pull each section slowly and on an angle, and then look at that nice clean lines. That's what your tub should look like once it's all done. And I recommend letting the sanded caulk dry for at least 72 hours before using it. That's what the back of the bottle said. That's what I usually go by too. I don't want to mess up what I've just laid down. Please follow me for more tips and DIY tricks at thesparrowshouse.com.